up, everybody? Today we are here to talk about the famous classic Wurlitzer electric piano, manufactured by Wurlitzer from 1954 to 1983. It is an actual physical thing that is amplified. So even when it's off, you can hear the hammers striking these metal reeds. It's giving sound, which is then amplified, and that's the sound that you hear. The Wurlitzer was invented by Benjamin M. It was manufactured between 1954 and 1983. Kind of crazy that they are just no longer made. A 64-note instrument It has two of these internal speakers, which are amazing, and just a volume knob and a tremolo. That tremolo is classic, and I have modeled it in this instrument. Benjamin, you know, trying to make a grand piano version at first, and then he eventually shrunk it down to the version that we know today. It went through a number of versions before arriving on the 200A, the classic model that we all know and love. So here's some trivia. Little did I know, Sun Ra may have been the first person to release a recording using the Wurlitzer. 1956 singles later compiled on his album Angels and Demons at Play. Ray Charles was obviously a big user of the Wurlitzer, known for that. First time I heard that, I was like, whoa, we're not in Kansas anymore, Ray. Joe Zavinal actually borrowed Ray Charles' Wurlitzer for a backing gig with Dinah Washington, and he was like, oh crap, I gotta get one of these, naturally. He played it on Cannonball Adderley's classic recording, Mercy, 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 one of the best jazz songs of all time. Aretha Franklin, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You. Heard It Through the Grapevine by Marvin Gaye, also a classic, so it's like, you just can set the tone of the whole song. What better way to start the song than with this classic electric piano tone? Another one that I love is Pink Floyd on Money, it's a classic. Van Halen used it, of course, with a flanger and a Marshall amplifier. All right, so let's actually tap in here to see what we got on my version. I did the most thorough sampling that I've ever done for any of these instruments that I've put out. Four different velocity layers, four round robins, so you get randomization for a natural feel. On top of it, I did a whole other set of that because I noticed the Wurlitzer sounds different when you hit it short staccato note versus a sustained long note. And so I did the whole thing in a staccato version as well, which is also included in the instrument. Also, I should note that I did not do a DI recording of this. I set up mics because the speakers on the Wurlitzer, I think to me, are one of the most special parts about it. It's got so much presence for these two small speakers. So I had to naturally do a stereo mic and capture the whole thing through these amazing tiny speakers. So that's what you're hearing in the instrument. We start off with a preset called Hello World. Now I believe strongly that the Wurlitzer is a beautiful example of simplicity. There's not a lot of extra effects or anything. You got two knobs and for the basic preset on my instrument that's what I wanted to give you as well. So it comes with just one very basic preset to start you off. You do get a bunch of other presets. Couldn't leave you with one basic thing. I had to give you the whole world in your hands. And all the other presets other than Hello World have all this extra DSP from Decent Sampler incorporated. Obviously you still have your trem and you have your rate now. The original Whirly does not let you control the tempo of the tremolo, but I programmed that in. The wave shaper on the Decent Sampler just sounds so good. certain song around the world the world is your oyster this is another favorite of mine so you got some wow you know the wow is like a vibrato technically you also have control of the rate of that all right so we got some delay Now we gotta get crazy with it. Uh, 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 uh. 
can mess I can mess with delay loops all day long. So you got the delay, you got your chorus. sounds there. Phaser always sounds classic on a Wurlitzer. Oh, you know what that also reminds me of that. Zeppelin. your reverb so this time I didn't just give you convolution reverb you actually get control over the size of the reverb and the dampness of the reverb this whole time I've been playing with one of the convolutions on which is why you know I wanted to give you the opportunity to play with maybe some of the tape settings and use reverb at the same time. You still do have like the spring. And then of course you have the like amps and other tape things. you got the staccato because this just sounds different from this Active control, get a little Kanye chipmunk action, or some chopped and screwed action. It just sounds different. I don't know what it is about it. 